Good morning, everyone. I'm going to share some things that I found over the past few months that I haven't shared with you yet. And we're also gonna go thrifting to see if we could find some things for some projects that we have coming up. We'll be working on our bedroom soon. So this should be a really big haul, really fun. I found some great treasures that I'm excited for you to see. Let's go get on the road. We went to a couple of stores. There were so many cute things. I wish they had more of these, but there were only four. I'm also looking for some art, but couldn't find anything that worked. Look at the color of this. I looked up these tumblers and they are a vintage piece from the 1950s. I thought this bowl was so cute for our cat and this basket was so nice too, but I was too scared about how I would keep it clean using it for food. I thought this color was so nice. I used to have the same set in pink. Look at how elegant these trays are. The price is so good too, $10 each. I took Suki on a walk. I'm just gonna start sharing some of the things that I found here before we get home. I'm letting her just kind of roam while we just take a little peek before we go home and look at the other things. I found this little box, see here. I managed to find six of these napkins, six of them for $6. I found this cute little stoneware bowl. These are Duralex cups. Whenever I see them, I pick these up for my mom. Let's go home and I'll show you the rest of the things that I've collected over the past few months. We have a lot to get through. I have been collecting a lot of pieces over the past few months that I haven't shared yet. I am going to share those with you today. We'll be renovating our kitchen and our bathroom, so I have been looking for pieces that we could use there. I also always like to pick up pieces that I could add to my collection of homeware, so things for entertaining. Let's start with some of the home decor pieces. I found this painting a while back. I got it for $3. I really liked that it was a hand-painted piece and the colors in it. There are a couple of places I plan to try this out in upcoming projects. I also found this other painting. It's by the artist Harriet Ross. I have this one marked that it was $10. Harriet Ross has a lot of paintings of California landscapes. I think it's really fun to find pieces like that that reflect the beauty around you. I really like this piece. Look at how pretty. This was $4.99. I thought it was a little different for a glass vase. I have a couple more little vases that I'll share as well. During the seven day challenge, I also picked up this piece for myself. The brand is Kinto. I found this boss on the Kinto website and it looks like there's a little top part that's missing. This retails for $27.50. I got it for $1.99. It's missing that top piece, but I thought that the shape was very pretty. I like to pick up blue pieces for this room, so this is one of them. I also picked up this boss for $5.99. I like that this looks like a more classic, timeless piece. If you didn't watch the seven day challenge, check it out. That was so much fun. I did pick up another piece. I got this very large hurricane. I'm so bummed. There were three in total. This one was there. I grabbed this one and then the middle size was missing and I was so sad. The people working there were like, oh, you just missed it. Really happy that I at least got this one. It's a really big scale. Look at this. I couldn't believe that I found these other items. I don't know how these things, how someone just gets rid of these things. My friend and I went to the thrift store a few weeks ago and had a lot of fun and I picked up this salad bowl with, look, these are still this looks, this is literally unused with the plastic on it. It has the crate and barrel tags on it still. I got this for $10.99. Another like new item that I found also from Crate and Barrel is this ice bucket. How handsome is this ice bucket? I got this one for $12.99. This is the Charleston wine and champagne bucket. Plan to use this this summer as we have more gatherings outside. Speaking of gathering and food, I found this very cute picnic basket. I really like that this basket has a liner inside. If anything spills, it gets caught in here and it doesn't get the actual basket dirty. It's made here in the US. If you all are interested in checking out online, look for Bradford Basket Company made in USA. I took a quick look and there are are a few baskets that other resellers are selling online. Here is kind of a more random item. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was so beautiful. I got this two tier stand for $6.99. I don't know what this is originally intended for. I plan to use it maybe for food. One of my favorite more recent unique finds with the patina that it has. I was so excited when I found these at the thrift store. I couldn't believe that 
these ended up there. So each of these were $5.99. This medium one retails for $19.95. The smaller one retails for $16.95. And the larger one retails for $24.95. I got all of these for basically the price of one. How pretty are these? Our bathroom and kitchen are original from the 1950s. We stopped using our bathroom about a few months after we moved into this house. We didn't realize it had a leak that was leaking into the basement. I am so excited for our renovation. That's why I am taking so much care in picking out each of these pieces. It's what's keeping me motivated to get to the other side of that renovation. I also picked up these two amber soap dispensers. They were each $2.99. I picked up these hooks for $2. I'm not sure where I'm going to use these. I'll either use them in the bathroom or the kitchen. They're labeled as solid brass. I don't have to ask the question because it says, I think this would be such a cute little moment for aprons or for our towels. I really like that they're vintage repurposing stuff that's out there. And I always like picking up something that we can repurpose. Before we move over and I show you some last things, I'll share this basket that I got for $5.99. Just a nice basket to use for things. And then I always keep an eye out for candles. I got this one for $1.99, unused. This one for $0.99, cents, unused. This one for $2.99, also unused. This says that it retails for $32. It's the Voluspa Magnolia Grapefruit Candle from Anthropology. I also like to pick up little things like this. I don't think this goes together, but they sold it to me together. Got it for $2. Generally, I like to pick up things that I can set candles on top of and give things another look. For example, this doesn't belong to this, but I had it in here. I've really been into crystal lately. Over time, I've just been hooked on collecting this stuff. Let me show you what I've collected over the past few months. Crystal is something that I've really gotten into, specifically Waterford. So I'm excited to share some of the pieces that I've been collecting over multiple trips to the thrift store. Most of the things that I've been collecting have been from the same pattern. This was historically made in Ireland. The craftsmanship and the attention to detail as each of these patterns were hand cut into the crystal. I'm really curious, is crystal a thing that you're into or is this a thing that I'm kind of alone in? If you're not into crystal, let me convince you. Look at how, look at how pretty and shiny this is. It's so sparkly. These are Waterford Sherbert glasses or little champagne glasses. I see resellers sell for about $25 each on the cheaper side. I got these each for $5. I was so excited that I was able to pick up five of these. I left a couple more behind because they had chips. I also picked up in the same pattern and have been collecting these. These retail for $420 at Williams Sonoma right now. And they also resell for more in the used market than the Sherbert glasses. I don't state sale I ended up getting one for $12 and at the thrift store I ended up finding four for $16. I have this vision for some brunches outside and serving orange juice and it just shining in the sun over a beautiful linen tablecloth. I also picked up this very sweet little creamer and sugar set. Pretty sure this is also in the Lismore pattern. I have to clean these up. It was $10 for both of these. It's so cute. I got this one for $5.99 and this is in a different pattern. This is not the Lismore pattern. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Let me know if you have any ideas on what you can repurpose a vintage celery dish for. If you keep an eye out for Waterford, just some things that I like to keep in mind are it should have the logo etched into the bottom of the glass, whether it's the new logo or the old logo. It'll either say Waterford with the seahorse or it'll say Waterford in a Gothic font. I have a few more things that I forgot to share that I picked up on a more recent trip as well. I managed to pick up a set of seven for $10.99. These currently retail for $10.47 each at Crate and Barrel. I ended up finding three more at a different thrift store today. I'm excited to share some of those with my dad. I know he'll really enjoy them. But I had been looking for a napkin holder. I was excited when I saw this one for two bucks that I could use and is the right size. I also found this spice rack. I got it for $9. It is missing five pieces, but that's okay with me for $9. I checked and I think this one retails for $40 on Amazon. In our kitchen renovation, we will have a lot more drawers that are bigger. I'm excited for my husband to have some nice organization and then the last thing I found was this shoe box from the container store. I got this for $3.99 and it has this little magnetic flap, pretty expensive new. So I'll put it on the screen. I'm excited to work on my room with you and add some details I'd been wanting to work on for a while. I'll be using this shoe box for that project. I hope you had as much fun as we did thrifting and seeing the items we found over the past few months. 
I'm excited to style these pieces with you in the future. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and your comments. I've been overwhelmed by your kindness. I'll see you next time.